Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to talk about free online whiteboard software, software that is used by teachers, online coaches, and anybody that trains online to share your screen and show people what you're drawing. So it's just like having your whiteboard at school or in a classroom, but we're going to see how you can do this digitally for free. I have looked at quite a few different packages online and the best ones I found is actually Zoom. Uh, you probably noticed that I have used Zoom for a very long time. I have been coaching and teaching online since around 2014. I have used Zoom and other software and I feel that both the free version and the paid version of Zoom are your best option when it comes to free online whiteboards. The software doesn't even need to install on your computer. It just downloads a plugin for your browser and you're really good to go. So let's see uh, the first three things you need to do. So the, we're going to look at how to register for Zoom and how to get things running. So how to create a quick meeting um, and what are the different options between paid and free. And I can tell you, it is a very, very good software, even on the free version. So we're gonna see all of that. I will then show you how to make sure that your settings are set up so that you, the whiteboard is actually available to you. And then I will show you how to start a call and you know get where everybody has joined like a class and then find your whiteboard and start sharing what you're writing on it right away. You can do this on your phone, on your tablet, or on a laptop. So if you are a teacher or a coach that maybe has been caught a little bit unprepared due to the coronavirus, and you're maybe working from home now, and you have to you know, do your classes online, this is really gonna help you because you can just jump on, use the tool you've got, whether it's a phone, whether it's an iPad, or whether it is your laptop or desktop of choice. So let's dive right in. The first thing you need to do is go to zoom.us. Now, if you're in Europe, you'll see a pop-up that asks you to agree and accept cookies. If you're not, you can keep going right away and you will see the page that I'm looking at right now. You can sign up for free. So click the sign up, it's free button. And you can just go in um, by adding your email address and that's it, you're straight in. Once you're logged in, you can go directly to your account and you will see uh, directly your profile. So you will land directly on your profile page. And now you need to go and find the setting to enable your whiteboard. Now, there are two things that you need to keep in mind. You need to go to the account management under admin here. So under the admin tab, click account management. And under account management, click account settings. You're going to see quite a, quite a lot of features here, but don't, don't worry. Um, you can just scroll down until you find annotation and whiteboards. So here they are. Now, in order for the whiteboard to work, you have to have your annotations switched on. So you will probably find them turned off. And what you need to do is toggle them on. So click your annotation on and click your whiteboard on. If you try to click your whiteboard on with your annotation still clicked off, it will tell you that you cannot do it because your annotation needs to be on. So make sure that you put on the annotation first and the whiteboard a little bit later. Okay, so that's all you need to do. There is no save button because these are toggle buttons. So you can go straight away um, into your meeting and share your whiteboard. Now let's have a look at how, how this actually happens. Once you've logged into Zoom, you can just find the mic count button, which is in the top right. And you will go into all the features on the side. So you can see that you have your profile, you can create meetings. The webinars section will not be available. That is an upgrade. Um, you can have your cloud recordings. And you can also have your settings. This is the section that we looked at earlier uh, where we said that you need to change the settings for your whiteboard. But now what we want to do is create a call. So we say schedule a new meeting. 
we're going to give that a name. We're going to call it lesson one. You don't really need to put in a description and then you need to choose your date and the time and also the duration. Okay, so in this case, I am using the free version. So it's just reminding me that, as I said, that if I have more than three participants, then at 40 minutes, the call will chop. But of course, this does not happen in the professional account. I could not log into that one right now because that is actually the one that is running this recording. Okay, so then you have host and participant videos on. So you can choose to have your own video on or also yours and of all your students. If you have an interactive class, it really makes sense to have their video on so that they can you know, unmute themselves and talk to you. The great thing about a Zoom call is that it also has other features like the chat. You can put your hand up uh, to speak during the class. You can mute yourself so there isn't much background noise and then people can unmute, unmute themselves for when it is time to engage and interact. So there are really a lot of teaching features including quizzes and polls. So I really recommend that you check out this software. So all you have left to create your call is to click save and you can add it directly to your calendar from here and you can copy and paste this URL here. This is the link your participants will need to click to join the call. Once it's time for people to join the call, I highly recommend you send them a reminder with the link before, even if you have sent it in the calendar. And then once you're on there, just start this meeting. The call will pop up. Your participants will join. When you click the share button in Zoom, as you can see, because now you have activated the whiteboard and annotation toggle button, you can see the whiteboard here as an option. So out of all the screens that I can pick, and in fact, you can see the video and you can see my other desktops, um, but the whiteboard is one of the options. So when you click on the whiteboard option, the people on the call with you will see the whiteboard as you can see it now. You will be able to draw on it quite easily. Um, in my case, I am using the laptop pad. So I am actually using, you can use a mouse to draw or you can use um, your laptop or you can also add a pen or if you're on a tablet, you will also be able to use uh, your Apple pen or any similar device. So as you can see, it becomes really easy. Uh, there's also a typing feature, so maybe it's not so easy to write, but you can actually um, type some text over here, which will help people understand you a lot better. Okay, then when you decide that you wanna stop sharing, you can actually just stop share and you will go back to the face-to-face -face call. You can also save what you have drawn, which is very important. You can also set it to save everything automatically once you stop sharing. So you don't necessarily need to remember to click this save button every time. Before I jump off, I'd like to help you understand whether you need a free account or a paid account. Now, the paid account, the basic is not very expensive. It's just under $15 a month, but you may not even need to spend that. If you're a coach or a consultant and you want to have just one-to-one -one calls, you can have as many of those on the free account as you like, and you can stay as long as you want. However, as soon as there is a third person on the call, Zoom will limit that call to 40 minutes. So you can still have shorter classes if you want to with you know, up to, I believe, 100 people. So you can have quite a lot of people on the call even on the free account. But at 40 minutes, the call will chop. Okay, so those are your choices. If you wanna have one too many calls, then that are longer than 40 minutes, you're gonna need the paid account for just under $15 a month. It's actually $14 something. Um, and if you want to have just one-to-one -one calls, you can go straight onto the free account and take that. In both cases, do not forget to save your whiteboard and save your calls 
because if there were people that didn't manage to attend or maybe somebody needs to refer to the call later, it's a lot of value that you can offer your students. Thank you very much for following this video. If you found it useful, click the subscribe button and also the little bell on the side so that you get notified when I publish more videos like this.